Hey guys, welcome to Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook. Today we'll be drawing this cute little eggplant. To begin our eggplant, we're going to start by drawing out the stem. So begin with a little curve, and then from the bottom of that curve, you're just going to bring up a little point towards the center here, and we're going to work our way across the middle of our paper and slightly up towards the top, making a series of little triangles. When you've made as many as you want for the bottom of your stem, you can come back to the top and make a small curve and then close it off. The finished shape will have a narrower top than bottom and then we'll come back to the top and we'll just draw a curved line upwards to create the top of the stem. You can close off the top and then just connect it back down and then we'll add just a little loop or hook here at the top to show some dimension. For the main body of the eggplant, I'm going to start so that it's just inside the outer edges of our stem. So I'm placing two little markers and then I'm going to start on the left side and curve down and towards the left and I want to make the bottom nice and round. So you're going to make your curve whatever size you want and once it's as big as you want your eggplant, you're going to start to round it out and bring it across the bottom. I'm going to come back up to the top and just do the same thing here on the right, making sure that I'm curving towards the bottom. So we don't want to have a mirror image curve where you're going to end up with something more like a figure eight instead of that nice rounded eggplant shape. All right, so that is the eggplant shape, which was pretty simple. So before watercoloring, we're going to just draw in our face and I'm going to do a little winking face by drawing in a little sideways V here on the left with the bottom of my V pointing towards the center. And then I'm going to draw in a small little round open eye on the right. So start by drawing out a circle and then you can add just a little curve on the inside edge here on the right side and a small circle at the bottom and maybe just a little one above it. So I'm just adding some highlights and then I'm going to color in around them. And then we'll just draw in our little mouth right in between the two eyes, just a simple little smile. So for the watercolor, we're going to start by just doing a clean wash of water across the body of our eggplant. I will list the materials that I'm using in the description box below. When you've filled in the body of your eggplant with water, you're just going to take some watered down purple paint, whatever shade you prefer, and we're just going to let that fill in and spread through the water. So if you notice that you have a lot of pooling or your paper just seems like it's really, really buckling or bubbling a lot, you might just want to tap up some of that water using paper towel or just take a dryer brush and just try to get some of that water off of your paper. So I'm basically just tapping in a little bit of extra color so pretty much that just means my paint itself is a little less watered down. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to take a shade of green and I'm going to paint up into the stem and all the way to the top and I'm just sticking with green here. And while I wait for this step to dry, I'm just going to add in my little background splatter. Of course, if this is not a background effect that suits you, you don't need to do this step. But I'm just taking a larger round brush and just a nice watered down version of my paint colors and I'm just tapping that brush so that they fall on the page. And then you can just take some clean water and blend them out a little bit. Next, I'm just gonna add in some yellow here across the stem, and I've just tapped a little bit into some of my water splatters in the background. Before you begin layering, you just wanna make sure that your first layer is nice and dry. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm switching over to a smaller brush, and I'm just going to take a nice watered version of my original color here, the color that I did my first wash with, and I'm just gonna start creating some shadow. 
So I'm concentrating my shadows along the bottom of my eggplant and then I'm going to bring that up and underneath just the little triangles here of the stem. So you can see that I'm using just a couple different shades of purple and I've also added in a little bit of blue along the bottom. And I'm going to concentrate my shadow here on the right side so that sort of outward curve here of the eggplant. And as I bring in my shadows, what I end up doing is I'll just allow the color to sort of fade away and then I just lightly wash it out with some water to help blend it back into the rest of the shape. So keep in mind guys that this part of the tutorial has been sped up so if your paper is really wet, don't stress out too much, just let it dry and then just keep building your layers. So when you're satisfied with the layers in the body of the eggplant, you can go ahead and do the same thing, building some shadows in the stem. I'm also going to just add in a little bit of brown to create a little more texture and visual interest in the stem here and just give it a little bit more of that earthy quality. So you can really play with the textures here if you want. You can add more brown. You could even add a little more yellow. It's really up to you. And then when you're all finished and satisfied with your stem, we'll move down and create a ground line for underneath. So to do that, I'm going to take my larger paintbrush and just do a water wash just along the horizontal edge of my paper and underneath the eggplant. And I'm going to just brush in that blue paint I used for the darker color along the bottom of the eggplant and add in some purple. And then to finish him off, I'm just going to add in some little pink cheeks. Just use a nice watered down version of your pink color and then you can just blend that into the body with a little bit of water. And that is our super cute little eggplant, guys. Thanks so much for drawing with me today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any requests, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. So until next time for another Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook, keep making art and keep smiling.